Hello, everyone. Welcome to Conversational English, Book One. I'm your teacher, Bruce Bagnall. 各位同学们，大家好，欢迎大家再次来到英语口语训练，来跟我们一起学习英语绘画。我是 Lori 老师。Today, of course, we have lesson one for you. But before we begin, I think it's very important that you understand how. Your course, conversational English, is organized. We have organized this in a holistic way, which simply means that we approach language teaching from def several different angles. We want you to listen to it, watch it, read it, even have a chance to speak it now and then. So, we have arranged for. Your textbook, which is the basis, it's the foundation for everything that we do on this program. It also is the basis for both the radio program, as well as the workbook, which accompanies your textbook. On the TV show, each lesson has five parts. The first, a simple preview or introduction. Second, you will be able to watch, listen to, and read your dialogue. Now, the dialogue is the heart of every lesson. Part three will be vocabulary, both words and phrases, to help you understand what you just watched or read in the textbook. Part four is what we call、uh, a special treat or Extra helping of material, something special taken from the dialogue. Now, usually the radio program or the workbook will have that extra information for you because we just don't have time on our TV program for that. Part five is my favorite part because it's the quiz. Five simple questions to help you review the day's lesson. 嗯，那么呢，这个刚刚布鲁斯老师讲的非常的清楚啊。我们的这个课程呢，它以这个媒体的方式来讲，是一个全方位的设计，包含了我们的 textbook， 就是我们的教材，然后呢，我们的 workbook， 我们的作业本，以及呢，这个 radio 电台，还有 TV， 就是电视的部分啊。那么，所以呢，这四个部分合起来的话呢，是一个很全方位的这个呃管道来让大家学习。那么，当然这里面最重要的基础就是我们的 textbook， 就是我们的教材了。那里面呢，它每一课。都包含五个单元啊。那么第一个刚刚讲的就是本课的简介，第二个单元呢就是非常重要的这个对话的部分的影片。接着第三单元呢，当然就是要来教大家学这个影片里用到的单字跟片语。那么第四部分呢，刚刚布鲁斯老师有讲到是一个特别菜啊，就是这个呃加的。那么就是有一些特殊的字，它在本课有出现的话呢，那么第四部分会把它抽出来。那这第四部分的话，大家就是要看 workbook， 还有听电台的部分。那当然最后呢，就是。Bruce 老师最喜欢的考试的部分，测试一下自己学的有没有完整。你真的不简单啊 ！Oh, I know. <laughs> but it's true.、Uh, I can't do that. And if you can't but want to, then、uh, try our program and read the textbook, read the workbook, and do it. Listen to the radio program. And now with us, you can enjoy viewing the first of. Two showings of our dialogue. 嗯，所以现在呢，就赶快来开始我们今天第一课对话影片的第一次的欣赏
three, four. Paul. One, Paul, two. why are you up so early? Usually, you are the last one in the neighborhood to get out of bed. It's Saturday, and I don't want to miss a minute of this weekend. You are impossible. One, Monday through Friday, I have two, to drag you out of bed to get to work. And now you're up at the crack of dawn exercising. Oh, don't exaggerate. Oh. Well, are you going to get up now or are you going to lie there all day? Remember, Carolyn is coming this morning. Oh, I know, I know. All right, I'll get out of bed too. That's the spirit. Gee, I feel great. <sighs> we have a lot on our plate today, don't we? Don't you know it? Caroline is coming about 11, and then all of us are heading out to Yamishan National Park for a picnic, and then she and I will do some shopping, and then our hairstylist, and then we are going to meet the girls for dinner and fun. Yeah. Tonight I'm going out with a couple of old friends for singing and a few beers. Mm -hmm. But first, we have to clean up this house and get it in order. After all, we want to set uh, an example for our daughter, right? Uh, excuse me, do I know you? Well, what? Since when do you care what our house looks like? You always treat our house like a boy's dormitory. Oh, Martha, that's not true. Uh, I help around the house. Yeah, when I hold a gun to your head. Now, come on. I am really going to help you around the house this morning, both with the cleaning and the picnic preparation. I'm going to hold you to that. You can hold me any time you like. Man, that's all you ever think about. That's not true. I sometimes think about food. Well, let's get busy here. It's just after 6, so we have plenty of time to freshen up, uh, get dressed, have breakfast, and clean and straighten up the house. After you. All right, we're ready now, or after our break, for part three, the vocabulary, words and phrases. 嗯,休息一下,我们再回来进行第三部分的智慧与片语. Okay, now we're back and ready for part three, words and phrases. I will say each word twice, allowing you just enough time to repeat it once, and then lovely Lori will do the translation for you, and we'll read the sentence, translation, and go on to the next item. 好的,那么所以第三部分单字片语刚刚不如小心已经讲了,他会先每个字念两次,大家要仔细的听哦,然后呢,这个Lori老师会解释一下他的意思,同时呢,再带着大家一起看例句的部分,那么非常的有用哦
drag. La tu. It was so hot and humid that the workers dragged themselves around the construction site. 天气又热又湿，工人们在工地上拖着身躯工作。Number five, up at the crack of dawn. Up at the crack of dawn. 天一亮就起床，一大早就起床。Andy is an early bird. He always wakes up at the crack of dawn. Andy 习惯早起，总是天一亮就起床。Number six. Exaggerate, exaggerate. 夸张 English speakers like to exaggerate when they speak. It is a natural feature of English conversation. 使用英语的人说话时喜欢夸张，这是英语会话的自然特性。Number seven, that's the spirit. That's the spirit. 这样就对了，这样才对。I've decided to watch less TV and go online less too. I need to spend more time studying. That's the spirit. 我决定少看电视，还有少上网。我得花多点时间读书。这就对了。Number eight. Have a lot on one's plate. Have a lot on one's plate. 有很多事要处理。Cynthia has a lot on her plate. She's the class leader and on the basketball team too. Cynthia 有很多事要忙，她是班长，也是篮球队队员。Number nine, don't you know it? Don't you know it? 这还用你说 ？It's so cold today that I can hardly move my fingers. Don't you know it? I'm freezing too. 今天真是冷毙了，我手指几乎都不能动。这还用说，我也冻僵了。Number ten, head out to, head out to. 出发前往。Let's head out to the park and jog for a while, okay? 我们出发去公园跑跑步，好吗 ？Number eleven, hair stylist, hair stylist. 发型师。Pamela is a hair stylist in a high-class beauty shop. Pamela 在一家高级美容院当发型师。Number twelve, in order, in order. 井然有序，妥当。The lieutenant inspected his troops to make sure everything was in order. 中尉检阅他的部队，确认一切都已妥当。Number thirteen, set an example for someone. Set an example for someone. Teachers are supposed to be hardworking and upstanding because they're supposed to set an example for their students. 教师们应该勤奋工作，正直诚实，因为他们应该做学生的榜样。Number fourteen, treat A as B. Treat A as B. 对待 A 有如对待 B， 或是视 A 如 B。The Simons treat their pet dog Samantha as a princess. Simon 一家人侍奉他们的宠物狗 Samantha 如同侍奉公主。Number fifteen, dormitory, dormitory, 宿舍。If you don't want to live off campus, you can always live in a dormitory. 如果你不想住校外，可以住宿舍。Number sixteen, hold a gun to one's head. Hold a gun to one's head. 用枪压着某人。I can't get my son to do his homework unless I hold a gun to his head. 除非我用枪压着我儿子，否则没办法逼他做功课。Number seventeen, preparation. Preparation. 准备。It took many hours of preparation before we could put on the class play. 我们花了很多时间准备，才能让班上的剧上演。Number eighteen. Hold someone to something. Hold someone to something. 要某人为某事负责。
I'll take out the garbage right after this TV program finishes, Mom. You'd better. I'm going to hold you to your promise. Ma, this TV program is done. I'll hold you to your promise. I'm going to 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 hold you to your promise. And went to the women's restroom to freshen up. Marsha 告退去化妆室梳洗了 Number twenty, straighten up. Straighten up. 整理 After the children left the classroom, their teacher stayed to straighten it up. 孩子们离开教室后，老师留下来整理 That completes our vocabulary items for today, both the words and phrases. Now we'll stop for a break and then come back to tell you about parts four, and we'll do part five. 嗯，那么呢，我们这个休息一下之后呢，回来进行第四部分，同时呢，一起来做一下第五部分的 quiz. Welcome back. I'd like to take a couple of minutes to make you more familiar with Part Four, which we call an extra serving. You may wonder what's an extra serving, and I mentioned at the beginning of the program, you could also call it an extra helping. Help, homie and ja i n g. When you are eating a big meal, you have one. Portion or helping or serving of a piece of meat, another serving of vegetables, a serving of soup. If you take it again, then it would be an extra helping or an extra serving. Now on the TV program, as I explained earlier, we don't really have time to do so much. So this part of your textbook, part four for every lesson. We assign to the radio program once a week, or to your workbook, so that you can read it, think about it, and do a couple of exercises on it in order to help you remember the material better. So this is my big chance to remind you and beg you, please, don't just read this in your textbook and forget about it. Listen to your radio program every week. It will improve your listening comprehension and give you extra information about something in the dialogue or about the topic. The same, if it's in the workbook, then you should read your workbook, do the exercises、uh, to help bu what you have、uh, read in the textbook or have watched here on the TV program. 嗯，第四部分呢，它的重要性在哪边？刚刚 Bruce 老师讲解的很清楚，因为第四部分的标题叫做这个额外的帮助啊，因为 serving 本来是指上菜，上一道一道的菜，那你额外的再上，那那个意思就是再补充啊，再加强，再帮助你。那么所以呢，这是第四部分它的功能。那么刚刚也提到了，就是呢，呃，可能第四部分是在电台的广播，或者是在你的 workbook 里面啊，那么都可以加强你的听力啦，然后补充一些额外的 information， 一些资讯。或者是让你做一做习作去练习，才不会像 Bruce 老师讲的，你只是看完你的这个 textbook， 然后就把它忘掉了。所以第四部分呢，大家也要好好的运用。And now we're ready to take a look at part five, which we do every week on the TV program. Your quiz. 好，那现在我们就来进行第五部分的 quiz。Of course, the content of the quiz will be different every week, but there will be five questions for you each week, and the questions are in different forms, and we can see a couple of them today. For example, number one. Every weekend, Billy blank his room to make it neat and easier to work in. The blank means. You must choose either A, B, or C, 
and put it into the blank for the sentence to make sense. So this is a vocabulary exercise. Every weekend, Billy straightens up his room to make it neat and easier to work in. So you should choose A because it's the answer that makes the best sense. 嗯，第一题我们来看到每个周末呢 ，Billy 他都会把他的房间怎么样，来让房间呢更干净，而且呢也比较容易在里面做事儿。那么正确答案是 A， 整理。Okay, number two is a different kind of question. Let's take a look at this. Which of the following verbs refers to how we move when we are very, very tired? Is it A. Resume, B. Stir, or C. Drag? If you remember from our vocabulary, the part three. We had a sentence about workers moving on a hot and humid day. On those kinds of days, we say we drag ourselves around. So, for the kind of question number two, there's no blank. You just have to answer the question, and the correct answer to this question number two is C, drag. 嗯，那么呢，刚刚第一题的题型呢是要同学们你们填空。那么第二题的题型就不同了，它直接是问你下列何者是符合这个问题的意思。所以其实你是要从三个里面选出正确的哦。那么这一题呢，他说下列哪一个动词代表的是当我们非常非常累的时候，我们移动的那个感觉？那么正确答案就是 C， 拖着你的身体哦。那刚刚布鲁斯老师也提醒大家，我们在这个 vocabulary 里面那个例句。工人呢，在又热又湿的天气里面拖着身子，好，在工地上面行走，就是用 drag 这个动词。Okay, let's move on. Number three, what should parents do for their children? So this is a simple question. You have to choose the best answer. Is it A, set an example for them? B, hold a gun to their heads? Or C. Hold them to something. Now, this is a good question because, in fact, A, B, and C are all possible answers, but you want to choose the best one. Sometimes you might have to hold a gun to their heads. Sometimes you might have to hold them to something that they said. In other words, to keep their promise. However, we should always. Set an example for our children. So A is the best answer for question number three. 嗯，这一题呢刚好是一个很好的例子哦。Bruce 老师讲解的很清楚。有时候这个问题呢，可能三个答案都可能发生的时候，你要如何选一个最好的答案？那么这一题问的是这个父母亲应该为他们的孩子做什么？那么我们看到答案的 A 呢，为他们树立榜样，跟 B 呢，就是拿着枪压着他们的头啊，逼他们去做某个事情，或者是 C 呢，就是要求他们对某些事情负责。那么呢，其实虽然三者都有可能。但是刚刚布鲁斯老师讲了一个很重要的副词，叫做 always， 就是呢，后者 B 跟 C 呢都是在某些情况下，父母才应该要这样做。可是唯有 A， 你父母要永远的啊，无时无刻的为小孩树立榜样，所以这个就是最好的答案。所以你要选 A。You know, Lori, I always set an example for my children. You do? Unfortunately, it's a bad one. <laughs> 他永远树立都是榜样，但是都是坏的榜样，太不应该了。<笑> okay, number four. This is a blank. We have to fill in the blank. If someone has a great deal of work to do, he blank a exaggerates, b has a lot on his plate, or c counts out loud. Well, of course, the best answer here, the only answer here, is b. Has a lot on his plate. If someone has a great deal of work to do, he has a lot on his plate. 嗯，那么第四题呢？假如某人有很多的工作要做，那么他呢，就是他的餐盘上还有很多的东西。那意思就是他还有很多事情要做。所以我们选 B. And lasto number five. Which of the following is a place to live? Is it A. Preparation, 
B. Dormitory or C. Hairstylist? Come on, guys. There's only one of the three answers that's a place to live, and as you can see, that is B, a place on campus usually, a dormitory is a place for students to live in. Choose B. 嗯，那么第五题很简单，下列何者是一个可以住的地方？那么正确答案当然就是 B， 宿舍。Okay, how did you do? That's not so important as doing it, and you will find many examples like this in the workbook. Each workbook lesson has two exercises a little similar to the quiz. So try them out and learn more. But now we gotta go. It's time for our second viewing of the dialogue. Have fun and hope you can understand it better. 嗯，现在我们就赶快来看第二次的对话吧Three, four. Paul. One, Paul, two, why are you up so early? Usually, you are the last one in the neighborhood to get out of bed. It's Saturday, and I don't want to miss a minute of this weekend. You are impossible. One, Monday through Friday, I have two, to drag you out of bed to get to work, and now you're up at the crack of dawn exercising. Ah.、Uh, Don't exaggerate.、Oh. Well, are you going to get up now, or are you going to lie there all day? Remember, Carolyn is coming this morning.、Oh, I know, I know. All right, I'll get out of bed too. That's the spirit. Gee, I feel great.、Oh. We have a lot on our plate today, don't we? Don't you know it? Caroline is coming about eleven, and then all of us are heading out to Yamingshan National Park for a picnic. And then she and I will do some shopping, and then our hairstylists, and then we are going to meet the girls for dinner and fun. Yeah. Tonight I'm going out with a couple of old friends for singing and a few beers.、Mm -hmm. But first, we have to clean up this house and get it in order. After all, we want to set、uh, an example for our daughter, right? Ah,、uh, excuse me. Do I know you? Well, what? Since when do you care what our house looks like? You always treat our house like a boys' dormitory. Oh, Martha, that's not true.、Uh, I help around the house. Yeah, when I hold a gun to your head. Now come on, I am really going to help you around the house this morning, both with the cleaning and the picnic preparation. I'm going to hold you to that. You can hold me any time you like. Man, that's all you ever think about. That's not true. I sometimes think about food. <laughs> well, let's get busy here. It's just after six, so we have plenty of time to freshen up,、uh, get dressed, have breakfast, and clean and straighten up the house. Afternoon. Did you understand the second viewing better than the first time? We hope so. And if you listen to the radio program and you do your workbook, it'll be easier still. Join us again next week for lesson two. Bye bye. 再见